So today we're going to go ahead and start with interval notation. This is our first lesson for advanced functions and modeling. So once again, our title is interval notation. And most likely you've, you've not heard of this at all, but it's very simple. It's probably one of the easiest things we're going to learn in advanced functions. So with it, it goes back to our inequalities and graphing numbers on number line, all the good stuff. Now, before, let's say we had an equation that was an inequality that looks like this. And let's change this to, let's say, 5. And so with that, if we're going to solve this out, solve. When you do that, you know you're going to subtract 4 from both sides. You get 2x is greater than 1. And then the next thing we know, we're going to divide by 2. And we get that x is going to be greater than 1 half. Now, hopefully you remember back from, advanced, from your other math classes, when you originally learned this, we would do a number line. And then we do all these tick marks and everything. So I'm going to make this easier. I'm just going to put a tick mark there and say 1 half. And then we had to do the shading part and see which side to shade on. And since x is greater than 1 half, we're going to shade on this side. That's all the numbers are bigger than 1 half. And before, we used to use an open circle there, simply because there was no equal sign right there underneath that inequality sign. And so here, we would just be like, OK, that's it. That's all we got to do. We're good. Now, in advanced functions, we do something a little different. Everything else is here is the same except for like one piece. And so here, with our inequalities, I want you to go ahead and draw a box around this part here because we're going to have this box. So we're going to draw a box here. <laughs> we're going to do inequality. We're going to use the word before. And we're going to use in AFM, Advanced Functions and Modeling. Right, and we're going to put like a line in the middle here. All right, so before, with our inequalities, we had less than and a greater than sign. And before, we used to use an open circle. Now in advanced functions, we're going to use a thing called parentheses. And when it comes to your greater than, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to signs, they used to be closed circles. But in advanced functions, we use brackets. So from now on, whenever we start doing these problems, you can no longer use what we do here, open and close circles. They will automatically be wrong. Even if the shading is correct and everything that sort, it's automatically wrong. So we're going to be using parentheses and brackets. And on the next video, I'm going to show you how to make sure you know when to actually shade it correctly and all that good stuff and where, which one of these to use, which bracket and what parentheses to use. All right. So I'll talk to you next time.